Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're taking a look at a couple of products that are new and a couple of products that I think might be semi-new or at least they're new to me and that is the Caution Blushes and the Lip in Oil Stick from YSL. This product is not new but I think there's some new colors in here and I think I got new colors. <laughs> I don't remember. Long story. So I have put on my Reboot, I've put on the NARS Bronzer, but there's no blush, and I'm just moisturizing my lips with the Fenty Balm. Where'd she go? In Pinch Me, I love this. This is so comfortable. This is the most comfortable thing for me on my lips. So these are the colors I got. Revel and Loyal. These are so outside my wheelhouse, you guys, but I'm, I'm really trying to get outside my comfort zone, comfort zone and not do the same thing over and over again. So, you know, the downside is when I receive things like this, I'm like, I don't know. Because we do have favorites for a reason. They look better on us, in our opinion. So, let's talk about the lip. Burnt Zellige, number 122, and Coral Dolman. I actually think I can just take this off my hand and boom, put it on. You could use a beauty blender, but I would be super careful because that's what I did. I did a swatch here and just picked it up and look at the color. It is what we would call pigmented. I think I'm going to see if I can do both cheeks with this one thing. You can, you know, put it on your skin directly and then blend it out, but I think I prefer this application. And even then, I feel like it's a lot, so I'm just going to warm up my hands and just put those warm fingers around the edges so the edges are really soft and it looks more kind of like a sunburned look. That. If you're new here, I'm very strange about the lips. Things that other people find comfortable, I find uncomfortable. So that product from Fenty, I find very comfortable. Almost everything else, not. The Gucci's I just tried, they're a little heavy. They're, I feel the weight on my lips and I don't love that. They are a little bit, maybe just this much lighter than the Victoria Beckham Balms, something I also don't wear because I don't like the way they feel. This is the same kind of thing. But, spoiler alert, it's lighter. And this is definitely a coral. It's not orange. There's some pink in here. It feels so nice on the lips. I mean, it's oil and balm, so I get it. My issue is some people have the ability there's something about their lips where they can put on a balm like this and it just stays in their outline and it looks like a lipstick or very close to a lipstick. For me, it doesn't. I don't know if my vermilion isn't strong enough. It, it, and also I'm older, so I have a lot of wrinkles here and I feel that my edges get very blurry. Now that's a look, but that's a look that I prefer with a lipstick where you can go in with an eyeshadow brush and get the blur the edges out to make it a little bit softer but the opacity of a lipstick is more than this so even though you've blurred it out it's obvious you put on lipstick with this I don't know there's something about this kind of formula I feel that personally it makes my lips look less defined and a little bit amorphous and it's not something I'm into but I would say this is much more comfortable than the Victoria Beckham and the Gucci. And the packaging is it's classic for them. Uh, and so this is kind of my summer look, just two colors, done. You can put something on your eyes if you want, you know, or you could put the blush on your eyes, or you can just kind of leave it be. But I think it's actually, I don't know, it goes to show how you can do something really simple once you have your foundation done. Two colors and done. I was thinking when I order this, this is probably not gonna work for me, I'm probably gonna send it back. But the truth is, I don't think I have a color exactly like this, and it looks a little bit different than I thought it might, uh, because it looks a little bit red online, but here, 
it looks, well, in comparison to this, it looks more orange. And I don't like orange blushes on me. I don't think they're flattering. But there's something about this color, whatever color it is. Is it orange? Is it red? Who knows? I surprisingly really like this. As a formula, what's it feel like? It doesn't feel incredibly emollient, but a little bit emollient, of course, because it's coming in this formation. I used to have the Vanish Foundation, and I threw it out after having, a, I think I bought two of them, because I couldn't find a good match for me. And, you know, eventually what happens is you don't turn to things where you don't feel comfortable with them. I do slightly remember, and I could be wrong, don't hold me to this, kind of remember thinking it had an oily, kind of greasy thing about it, but I'm not 100% sure. Does this feel like that? It's been so long, I can't tell. On the fingers, though, I would say it's not emollient, but it's also not dry. It's not something that goes too powder, and it doesn't have a sticky nature to it, but it doesn't have a um, greasy nature to it either. Like, for instance, I'm not saying this is greasy, but when you touch this, it feels like it's melting. And actually, this is called a melting blush. And when you do this, there's a lot of slip. I don't get that with the hourglass. I put a little foundation on my cheeks and took off the lip. The lip stains just a little bit. I'm sure if you leave it on until it disappears, it'll probably maybe stain a little bit more. And I think the cheek, you know, I didn't take off my foundation. I just put more on and I'm wearing the Reboot. That's not the heaviest foundation in the world. So you can probably see a little bit of color. Not the end of the world though. Now for Loyal, because it's a different color, a lighter color, let's just show what it would look like applied like yay. Because I did kind of take off some of the bronzer when I went over it with the foundation. So let's try with fingers. And this is another one I thought, I don't know, man. When I first got this, you know, I've had it for four days. The power's been out. So I haven't been able to shoot anything, which is so incredibly frustrating. And when I first put it on, which is, the, you know, the minute I got it, I thought, I don't, I don't like this color on me. I don't think this is going to work. And then I put it on again, and I thought, you know what? It's not like something I have. It's outside my real house. But if you want a really subtle kind of a look, and you have my skin tone, and I am Y355 in the Reboot, and I've listed some of my other foundations down below. <clears throat> Not bad. It just gives you something a little neutral. Now the lip, also in the neutral world. I don't know about you, but I feel like I have a totally different look, even though all I'm doing is blush and lip. But I think this is a very nice look as well. It's something that I don't really have. It's something I usually don't do. Maybe it's time for a change and trying something different. And of course I could use the Lynette Stone from Gucci in place of this, but that's more brown and it has a cooler nature to it. Where this is not cool. I mean, it it, it is a peach, but it's almost like a peachy brown to me. And I know I don't have anything else quite like this. Let's take a little bit off the lips to see what it would look like, because it feels like the opacity of the lips is a little too much with the subtlety on the skin. And now it's almost like a stain. And I think I like this a little bit better. I think I kind of like it. So there you go, you guys. That's the formula of the hourglass, the color swatches of the hourglass, the cheek swatches of the hourglass. I am, I'm thinking I'm going to keep them both because they're outside what I usually have. And yeah, I really like this. So I'm, I'm surprised. The other colors they have are, they, basically there's pink zone and beige zone. And they have these swatches, you know, where it's like swipe, 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 and then hourglass, this in the middle. And those look to be pretty good swatches, but they don't name what the colors are. And then when you hit the colors on their side anyway, from one to another in the beige zone, they all pretty much look the same. And of course, the cheek colors, you know, those are computer generated, so 
they're not really helpful either. So I, I'm hoping that me doing this on my face is actually helpful. And these, I don't know. You know, I have the Dior's, I think Stellar Shine they're called, which is the same kind of idea. And these are the things that I never turn to. I look at them and think, oh yeah. And then I, I don't put them on. I think there's a place for this for me, but I don't know where that place is. And I think I have more than I need, considering I don't love it. If I want something, this Kosas uh, Pulse, there it is. I love putting this on. It's a little bit obviously more waxy, or maybe it's not that obvious, but it's not heavy. And I love this. This is incredibly comfortable, doesn't feel drying, and it also only has the hint of color, which I think I prefer better with my particular lips. Uh, yeah, so I am not sure. I might keep this one because I don't think I have anything quite like this, but the coral one, I think I do. You know what? Let me pull out a couple of my Dior's. Aha! So obviously I've been on this road before, a neutral and a bright, and I never wear them. And now this one seems a little more pink to me. So that's this one, and I'll write down the name right here in the subtitle. It's much, much more sheer. And that's this one, which actually doesn't look very sheer. It's, that's so weird, but it looks super close. I'm just going to put this on. I think for me, this might be way too close. And these are scented, kind of like a vanilla-y thing, which I don't mind. I think I like this color better for me. I don't know why. I don't question it. <laughs> you know, I just put it on. I'm like, mm, I think I like this better. We'll see after I put it in the computer and I start to edit it. Maybe I'll change my mind. So this color is 673 and the more brownie one is 439. I imagine the price is pretty close. It's just that these are new colors in this range of lip and balm, which believe it or not, I, I've never tried these before. So I'm glad I have. And there you go. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful to you and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be smart, be safe, and I'm wishing you good health.